Hey YouTube, hey fam. So today I wanted to do my video of travel a little bit different. This is a how to, how to plan a road trip and then the tools that I use when I did my RV road trip when I left Alabama and I came up here to Virginia. So I use two primary apps um, one of them is called All Stays, which helped me find like my campgrounds. And then the other one is called In Route, I N Route. I am not sponsored by any of these uh, apps, but I figured it would be great to give this to you if you plan to do any road tripping in an RV or just want a road trip, period. So I'm looking down here at the screen because I have all my video down here and I'm trying to give you the back story behind everything as I'm looking. So let me put play here in a second. So the first app that we're gonna go to is called, this is in route. And this is how I plan each of the legs of a trip. Right now I'm just showing you the leg from Huntsville to Stone Mountain. So the good thing about this app is that it shows you temperature, shows you precipitation, and right now it's showing you uh, weather warnings. This is showing real time weather warnings and you can build out your pins, you can uh, build wayward points which I had gas stations along the way as my wayward points. And as I got used to driving a little bit more, I took less stops. Right now you're looking at Camp All States, which shows you campgrounds in a particular area. And what I did was zoom in around Atlanta and look at what uh, camping grounds were near Stowe Mountain. I actually wanted to hike up Stowe Mountain. And right now I'm showing you the website and then showing the cost of how much I paid for my particular site. Each time of year, it has different pricing. I went off season, I went in February. On season camping is during your summer months when kids particularly are out of school. One thing is that I lost all of my video from <laughs> my road trip. I had my computer fixed and so what you see is the only things that I have that, I, that was on my phone itself. I back all my videos up you know normally and then for some reason as I was going through this road trip I didn't back up any videos so the video quality is not the best from this road trip so I know I'm gonna hear a lot about that so after leaving Stone Mountain I went to Charleston I've actually never been to Charleston itself I've been to like the islands off of there like Folly Beach and that type of stuff I'm showing you the market. A lot of people get this confused with like the slave auction market, which is very different. Um, the slave auction is actually somewhere completely different. This is the market that everybody used to buy food from. And then this restaurant that I went to is amazing. The food was off the chain. The next place I went to was Myrtle Beach. I ended up staying at um, the resort Ocean Lake. I think that's what it's called. But the resort had so many amenities. It's actually a place where people have homes and they also have a separate area that you know you have all the rv places and then they have a water park inside of there it's beach access so you're not actually don't, don't have a spot on the beach you actually walk over a bluff and then the beach is right there it's a pretty nice resort um they have comfort stations uh which are bath houses and you know bathrooms if you don't want to shower inside of your rv or you don't have an a shower inside of your RV and they were very clean worth the money is quite expensive but it's worth money so I think it was like the second or third day that I was in Myrtle Beach one of my best friends came down and then we had so much fun we did zip lining and then we we acted like two kids we literally ran around the place like we were three years old and it was great to have somebody to do that with. <laughs> Every year. 
That was a fine landing. And the last part or the last leg of the trip was we went to Williamsburg, which is one most amazing town that I've ever been to. I'm actually going to go back so I can get footage. <laughs> Take that picture, girl. Right. The food was great. And it was great that everybody was dressed up in the colonial period, spoke the language as such. In front of each of the houses that you were allowed to go into, they had like a British American flag. And then you were allowed to do whatever activities that were in there. So either they were selling items or they were doing demonstrations. Like one guy was a furniture maker and he was making furniture like the old way with that little, I don't know what that tool is called, but it like skims off the wood. So I did something different here with the, the candle and with the little flowers. I try to set the mood, um, but I hope that you like this a little bit better as opposed to just my other videos where I just kind of put all my footage, slam it together, edit it, and just put it out there with no context or anything behind it. So if you like this version better, please click the thumbs up, give me some feedback, let me know what you guys like, and I'll continue to do it.